First, though, police believe they've identified a man they say was pivotal in escalating the violence following the death of George Floyd. They say he is a white supremacist. The so-called umbrella man was captured on video breaking windows during the violence. He was also caught on tape having a confrontation with one of our WCCO photo journalists. Here's Esme Murphy. A police search warrant says this was a key moment when the riots took a more violent turn. A man in black with an umbrella broke out windows of a Lake Street auto zone. A tipster told police that the umbrella man is a member of the Hells Angels and wanted to sow discord and racial unrest. The search warrant says the man is a known associate of the Aryan Cowboys, a prison gang out of Minnesota and Kentucky. Minneapolis police have also linked the man to a June incident in Stillwater, where a Muslim woman was harassed by a motorcycle club wearing Aryan Cowboy leather vests. WCCO is not naming Umbrella Man because he has not been arrested or charged. Speculation as to who he might be has been rampant. Last month, St. Paul police were forced to issue a denial along with time stamp photographs showing Umbrella Man was not one of their officers. This is WCCO photojournalist Demine Chun recording his reaction to being tear gassed. It feels really, really hard to breathe. Behind him, you can see Umbrella Man. Moments later, Chun was capturing images of looters when suddenly you can see the edge of the umbrella and Umbrella Man threatens him. Chun did walk away. I remember that I did listen to him. He did scare me. Chun, who covered the most intense moments of the riots for WCCO, said the incident with Umbrella Man is one he won't forget. I think he's the only one that said something bad to me. 99.99% or 100%. No one. No one said anything to me except him. He was the only one. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Both the Hennepin County Attorney and the Minneapolis Police would not comment because this is an ongoing investigation. The man does have a record of criminal convictions for brawling, assault, terroristic threats, and domestic abuse.